Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you dials from Audio Thing. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Also, if you would like to participate to the giveaway, please do check the instruction in the video description and also check that the giveaway is still active. You know that um, by checking the video description if winners have been announced. If they have been announced, of course, check that, uh, you are, uh, that your name is in there. And if it is not in there, um, of course, the giveaway has concluded. If it is in there, please do uh, follow the instruction on uh, the video description to claim your code. Okay, so let's kick off. We are inside the AUM. As you can see, I have a bit of a setup which includes... Uh, um, using Grand Piano, uh, Pipa, File Player for, uh, to play a drum patterns and also ISM from Arturia. And um, they're all connected so that we can use dials as uh, an insert effects. As you can see, it's, uh, as, as always, from AudioFing, a very nice, neat uh, UI, which is excellent. So, but what is dials? Well, it's a digital representation of hardware from the 1950s used by um, Heimbach Studio. At the heart of it, uh, think about a, gem, a German vacuum um, tube uh, radio broadcast device, which has been paired with a heavy duty American bandpass filter. And the combination of the two of them creates some unique sounds. As I've done in other videos, I'm going to first explain a little bit the controls, and then we're going to go through how it sounds using different presets and different audio sources. For now, we have a grand piano. So let's start from the top. Here we can select the preset as we normally see in other application from audio thing. And we have factory preset, user presets, and we can move up and down with the arrows. We can save a preset, delete it, and randomize it as well. We can lock um, parameters as uh, so that they do not change as uh, we move between different presets. Similar controls uh, that you find in other apps from audio thing. You click on it, and then, of course, you um, click on another parameter. You can also um, uh, click on... Uh, the hamburger menu and that is where you can also uh, lock further the parameter um, change the view meter um, uh, copy and paste presets check in your manual and go also on the about okay so on the left hand side here you see the preamp yeah of course and um, at the bottom you find a volume which you can change a knob for the volume you can change from a six decibel to minus infinite. Double click to reset it to default, which in this case is zero. Here on the left hand side, you have over oversample, which is absolutely great to remove those artifacts. So I set that to maximum 16 times. Here we have an input gain, which is. Um, Fundamental. Let me show you also something. If I set this to zero, you have a representation here at the bottom for uh, routing. And you can see that the preamp at the moment is uh, grayed out. So as soon as you move this to one, you see it changes the, the color. So it is active. Okay, moving forward. We have a compressor here. You can adjust the amount of the compressor, of course. And um, with this dial, you can also adjust the envelope uh, when the compressor, of course, is... You can set the on and off here. And then on the right-hand side, you have uh, the, the filters. So you have a high-pass filter and a low-pass filter. Each one of them has resonance. You see the Q here, which you can set and also an associated uh, multiplier. OK, 
Okay, really nice. Down here you have these uh, trip for modulation purposes. You click on here to activate it. You choose the waveform here, which is really nice. And then you can set it to link uh, to sync the bits per minute. Here you set the speed and here the target. So let's try. For example, volume. And you can see it's starting to move. You can go positive or you can go also negative. You can increase the speed. Double click to reset it. And of course you can change the high pass fill. You see the multiplier moving now. Q as well. Really nice. Then on the routing um, part of dials, here is where you can click and drag and you can change the position. So the routing, which is really nice. Finally, you have a dial for the mix, your dry and wet mix, the um, master output and the soft click, which of course is important to avoid uh, those clipping noises. Okay, so let's try some presets. So let's kick off. Let's try this broken glass on the piano. Really nice. Really, really nice. Let's try these bubbles. Okay, now let's go to a different instrument. So let's choose this file player, which contains a, a drum pattern. All right. So let's, um, first of all, let's go back to init as a preset and let me play the uh, drum pattern. Okay, now let's select some presets. Let's start with, three, with this drum animator. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that uh, demonstration. It sounds really, really nice with drums. Now, let's move to a pad type of sound and um, let's bypass dials for now. And um, let's use um, Isom from Arturia. And it sounds like this, the preset I've selected. <laughs> Okay, now let's activate um, uh, dials, but let's choose a different preset, which I really like. Let's try this Rhythmatizer, which is really nice. So let me activate it and then let me play that pad. Really, really nice. So let's um, uh, disable that pad and let's try Pipa. Really nice as well. But let me first show you what it sounds like without dials. So we have this scary choir. So let's try it with this rhythmatizer first. Really nice. So there are some dedicated presets for voice. Let's try this big voice. Let's try now this Heimbach voiceover. But let's try also something else. Kick changer.
Really, really interesting. Small voice. And let's hear it with these uh, tablesque. Really nice. Let's try these testifier. Let's try a tremor. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the uh, demonstration and short tutorial. And as always, see you next time. Bye.